Welcome one and all, and we're after this one we're finally gonna get back on track with actual movie movies, not specials, joke episodes, or anything else. Next one definitely a movie, but this one definitely a special. So yeah, special time, baby. This time we're dealing with a very special Pokemon special with a lot of baggage around it. This special is actually three episodes of a spin-off anime called Pokemon Chronicles, which I love the idea behind. Basically, it's the Pokemon anime without focusing on Ash. It sounds really simple, but in actual practice, it's pretty amazing. They get focused on Misty, Brock, characters that we only got to see for like one episode, characters that were really important but didn't really do much at all. Well, we begin to see Richie again and Casey and whatnot. Again, we get to see so many things from so many characters' point of view without Ash having to be a factor at all. It's a shame this series only lasted 22 episodes because it's a really good idea. But anyway, we're not going to bother with that or dates for this. We're just going to jump right into the plot. As this is technically the first three episodes of Pokemon Chronicles. So yeah, without further ado, The Legend of Thunder. So then, because we're not following Ash's friends, we have three new protagonists. First off, we have Jimmy, who has the standard player character avatar from Gen 2. Rinu has the standard female avatar from Gen 2, not the remake Gen 2, the original Gen 2, as well as Vincent, an opponent Asphalt in the Johto Pokemon League. He was to do with the Meganium, essentially. Also, also we have two Team Rocket agents, and Attila and Hun. You get it? You get the very subtle naming convention? Anyway, our story starts with Jimmy in a battle, and Attila and Hun on the verge of ultimate power. Jimmy quickly meets up with Marina, who does a bit of flirting before ch challenging him to a battle. In the middle of the fight, they discover a discharge of energy, discovering a giant crystal attracting electric type Pokemon. This is part of a plot by Attila and Han to draw Raikou. As they say, the distressed electric type Pokemon will draw Raikou out even faster. Raikou ends up showing up and attacking the group with the crystal drawing energy out of it. Jimmy jumps in the way, attempting to stop them all, ending the first episode. Our second episode begins with Jimmy and Marina fighting against Attila and Hun, barely managing to make a win. Raikou's exhausted from the fight and it collapses with Jimmy rushing it to a Pokemon Center. Eugene shows up, basically because a legendary dog is in danger so Eugene has to show up, and basically explains what Raikou's deal is. It hates humans because they keep trying to capture it, and defends legendary type Pokemon. So yeah, that's pretty much Raikou's whole deal. After waking up, Raikou immediately decides to rush off, heading towards another trap by Team Rocket, with Jimmy and others following fast behind it. Of course, a fight ensues, and in this fight, Vincent finally shows up, and Team Rocket manages to capture Raikou, sending it off in a gigantic crate and flying off with it. Raikou tries his best but can't get out by his own power. Thankfully, Mario didn't manage to sneak on earlier and helps Raikou escape. Sacrificing herself because she's unable to make the jump down from the airship they're all stuck on. Raikou rushes off, leaving her behind, looking back as Team Rocket plans on how they're going to catch it, ending the episode. The third and final episode begins with everyone else trying to figure out what they're trying to do. Team Rocket reactivates the crystal trying to draw Raikou out as Raikou charges towards another fight with Team Rocket. Of course the fight ensues and everybody wonders why Raikou's taking around his time instead of doing his normal running around and shooting things stick. It turns out Raikou starts seeing the group as his friends as they keep trying to defend it and whatnot. In the midst of all the fighting, the control switch for the crystal gets destroyed and the crystal is out of control, holding in on Raikou and capturing it within itself. In order to save Raikou from the crystal, everyone makes a desperate plan to charge Team Rocket, putting themselves in danger, which causes Raikou to force his way out of the crystal in order to defend them and protect them, with the Tilly and Hunter running away because they've lost their trump card. Everyone celebrates and Raikou runs off before everyone goes their separate ways to continue their journey, ending in a special. So before we advance any further, there's a bit more backstory to this special than I learned from that on. This was originally supposed to be a Pokemon movie. You can kind of see it if you replace Jimmy with Ash. You can kind of see how the movie was supposed to exist. However, between Pokemon Heroes as well as, you know, various other facets, they decided that Raikou didn't deserve his own movie and gave it this special instead. Considering the fact it's my favorite of the legendary dogs, I feel like I got the shaft on this one. I'm going to be honest here, having Ash not be a part of the movie actually makes it more memorable because of the novelty of it all. I kind of like it. I actually really like it more than it probably has any right to be liked. And it's a very action-packed movie or special. I'm going to keep making that mistake with these things, aren't I? So if you're looking for some Pokemon action, you can definitely get it here. However, good luck finding a copy because in the U.S., Pokemon Chronicles never got a DVD release. So your best bet to find is look online. So yeah, it's not a must watch because it's really hard to find and it's not really that important, but if you can find it and you like it, it's a pretty good watch. So if you can manage to find a copy, give it a good watch. And until then, 
See you next time.